You have completed decompression phase four. You may now remove your helmets, disposable backpacks, air sacs, and cowlings. Controlled environment has now been stabilized. So what do we find out there? I don't really care, man. I'll get a damn good bonus for this thing. I'm sure we will when they find out what was in that rock. Damn, I'm thirsty.
So what do you think, Doc? I don't know, you guys. Looks like another rock to me. Well, Doc, see the way I see this. This little probe here is going to a hell of a lot of money. See, according to this rock scanner, this thing is full of electronic circuitry. Ain't that something? <laughs> Let me tell you something else, Doctor. We're the first guys to play football on Mars, ever. Every time you guys bring something back to me, you think it's something special. Your scanner's probably busted. Excuse me, gentlemen. The captain's a little disturbed about you taking so long. All right. We'll check this out later. Doc, uh, make sure the Major knows who found this thing. Oxygen at critical level. Please use nearest emergency oxygen supply until normal level is reduced. Use nearest emergency oxygen supply until normal level is restored. Warning. Oxygen at critical level. Please use nearest emergency oxygen supply until normal level is restored. Warning. Oxygen at critical level. Please use nearest emergency oxygen supply until normal level is restored. Warning. Oxygen at critical level. Please use nearest emergency oxygen Please use nearest emergency oxygen supply until normal level is restored.
Lieutenant Mitchell, please call engineering. Lieutenant Mitchell, please call engineering. Hello, Colonel. We already checked that out. It's good to have you back, Colonel. How are things back on Earth? Better than they are here, I understand. Yes, we have had our problems. Colonel Lindsay. Have Lieutenant you found Clark, out what happened on SC-37 yet? Um, not yet, Lieutenant sir, but we have our Lieutenant best computer Clark, expert working reports. on it right now. So Freeze comes running down the stairs, okay? And big crowds form around the dead guy. One of the crowd says, the priest says, uh, does anybody here know this guy? And the priest goes, no, but his face rings a bell. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, did you see the beautiful blonde with the colonel today? Yeah, I saw her. So what? Hey, listen, man, come on, she was nice. Hand me the spattering rod, will you? Would you hurry up with that thing, man? The court's reserved for 1,400 hours. Hang on, buddy, I'm almost done. I'm hooking up the APU. What's the APU? The auxiliary power unit. We civilians, unlike you military personnel, do it right the first time. Man, if I didn't know you better, I'd be a little worried about you. You spend too much time with those computers. You heard about what happened on this ship, didn't you? Yeah, I heard. They found it floating in space with a permanently checked out crew. Suffocation. Crazy bastard. Probably forgot to turn on the auto stabilizer before they went to sleep. You know, you never hear about this stuff back on Earth. Just never hear about it. And for sure you never hear about it in the telepapers. Hey, is my spattery right over there? Oh, never mind. Here it is. I think those guys have been so stupid. That's what happens to you, man, when you've been out here too long. Your mind starts to go. They hushed it up real fast. I'm surprised you heard about it. Are you kidding me, man? When you've been in security as long as I have, you hear about everything. I could tell you some stories that... I found the problem. Problem? You're the problem, man. We're losing valuable court time. Gentlemen, shall we begin? Colonel. Our company cannot take the responsibility for the incompetence of Major Porter's men. My men have nothing to do with cracks being found in four out of the five outtake valves. The valves have been replaced. And twice last week, Two second stage alerts? You know damn well, Porter. That we corrected any problem before any real danger occurred. Any real danger? What about Colonel, the damage to the inner line You should check the files on Generator 4. Don't any real danger. No. Marlies. Damn you. This is a delicate operation. You want to screw up four hours worth of work? I was getting a little too intense in here for me. I'll wait for you on the court. There, I got it. What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything.
Rebels 4 on. Second. What's going on out there? A wall cutting through the hundreds of people are trapped out there. What's going on? What's happening? Total alert. Total alert. Attention all personnel. This is not a drill. Sir, it's a fire. Not Hey, is there anybody up there? This is Roger Campbell. Who's there? Lieutenant Lynn. I'm in the engine room. What's going on here? Do you know? No. But Campbell, you better get us the hell out of here. Code 7 means you only have a few more seconds until we're all reduced to carbon molecules. Get ready to give me full power, Billy. We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Come on. No. You can take care of this baby for me, will you? You think you can fight this thing, buddy? I'm gonna give it a hell. Billy, are you okay? Billy. Yeah, I'm okay. Billy, come on up here. Billy, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I'll be up in a minute. Like it or not, we're all in this together. Now, if we're gonna make it, we're gonna have to work as a team. Well, where are we gonna go? There's not enough food to last over a few months. I'm sure they'll send up a search party, but even a starship will take over a year to get here. The way I see it, there's only one thing we can do. According to the computer, there are two emergency supply depots between here and Earth. They should give us enough food and supplies to make the two-year trip. Provided they're not too far apart. Well, why will it take so long to get home? Because this is a shuttle craft, not a long-range spacecraft. The way I see it is that each one of us is going to have to handle certain duties. Now, obviously, Lieutenant Lynn can operate and maintain the shuttle's power plant. Dr. Kimberly, you'll be in charge of the food and water supplies throughout the trip. Sherry. I believe you worked in the kitchen aboard the L5 base? Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, you'll be in charge of preparing the meals. Okay. Now, we can all pitch in for cleanup. Roger, you'll be in charge of operating the shuttle. And I'll help Roger and fill in wherever needed. Well, as I understand it, Roger Campbell is not a pilot. 
You're an engineer, aren't you, Mr. Kemp? Computers are my specialty. Since you're not a pilot, how do you intend to fly this ship back to Earth? In case you didn't notice, you don't fly these things with a steering wheel. They're run by computers. And if you can find somebody else more qualified, I'd be more than happy to step down. Will we really be able to make it back to Earth on a ship this small? I can answer that. As I said before, this is a shuttle craft. It's not designed for long-range travel or re-entry. However, if I modify the propulsion system, we should be able to get enough power to slow her down for re-entry. If not, we'll all be dead before we know it anyway. So, barring any unforeseen meteor storm, I'd say we've got a 60-40 chance. And that's a whole lot better than they had back on L5. Well, we have a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get going. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing. One of us has got to make the final decision for all of us. I suggest Roger, since he's flying the ship. Shall we take a vote? All those in favor, raise your hands. Three out of five. Majority rules, and it's settled. You got it. Oh, Sherry. Yes? You're not the one who made those chicken pot pies, are you? No, that was Bob. I can't tell you how much better that makes me feel. Boy, you're really too much. I can't help it, man. It's in my blood. Looks like you're gonna have to settle for Billy. Adrian hates your guts, and Sherry's in love with me. I figured out the computer command code. I asked it to plot our course. Let's see how it's done. Have completed computations on course to follow. How long will it take? With a maximum stopover at each supply depot of 24 hours and a maximum flight speed of 52,000 miles per hour, it will take 18 months and 3 days and 14 hours. Where do we fuel up for the trip? The nearest supply depot is Alpha 7, 120 hours from this point. What kind of food's on Alpha 7? She won't answer you. Why not? She's only programmed for my voice. Racist. No, she just has good taste. What kind of food on Alpha 7, Bernice? Bernice? Steinberg program. Alpha 7 has K-20 survival food. K-20? Man, that stuff's the worst. I'd rather eat my shoe. K-20 is a perfect balance of proteins, carbohydrates, amino acids, and vitamins. Still tastes like dog shit. Bernice, proceed to Alpha 7. I cannot do that. Why not? The main propulsion system is still down. Lieutenant Lynn, this is Roger. I'm going to need full power. Campbell, if you don't leave me alone, I'm never going to be able to finish this damn thing. Whoever maintained the shuttlecraft didn't know their ass from their elbow. I ain't going to give you the time of day until this ship is running right. I think she likes you. How long till she's ready, Billy? I can't get the main fusion reactor activated. And stop that Billy crap! It's Lieutenant Lynn. Now I know she likes you. Let me know when you're ready, Lieutenant. Thank you. 
You'll be the first to know, Captain. I don't need this. Is there anything else you want me to do, Captain? Yeah, do you give charm lessons? Charm lessons, Captain? Roger Campbell, your friendly host for this trip, and I live... Save it, Campbell. Sherry's not here. What do you want? I'm not cut out for this gal. I can't do it. You're doing okay, buddy. Look, Adrian, we're all still in a little shock over what's just happened. I'm just trying to lighten things up a little. Well, keep your humor to yourself, Campbell, and it's Dr. Kimberly to you. Yeah, well, Doctor, if you don't mind, if you're I'd like to have a progress report on the food and water supply. Look, I've already done that, Campbell. It's Captain Campbell to you. There's enough food for three weeks. However, part of the water supply has been polluted. By what? That's what I was working on when you interrupted me. Will you let me know as soon as you find out? Yes, Captain, sir. I wish that jerk would let me alone. I brought you some food. Thanks. Did I say something wrong? Sorry, it's not you. Chicken pot pies? No, chicken pot pies. So what does this do? Oh, it's a heat sensing monitor. It shows where everyone is in the shuttle. See, this is where we are now in the control room. So how long till we get to Alpha 7? Oh, about five more days. How long till Earth? 18 months, according to Bernice. Who's Bernice? The computer, Roger's new sidekick. You know something, Sherry? You're one foxy lady. 
Really, I think I'm a little overweight. <laughs> Not to worry. When you start downing on the new K20 rashes, you'll find that extra weight just feels right off. Oh, hi, Sherry. I didn't even notice you come in. I must have really been out of it. Now, that's a man with great devotion to his job. Food! Great! I'm starved. Haven't eaten over 12 hours. Thanks a lot. Believe you me, that's unusual for him. Glandular problems, you know. Oh, hey, Sherry. Would you do me a favor? Go back and have Billy call me. I think she's mad at me. She won't answer her intercom. Sure, I was gonna go bring her some food anyway, Roger. I mean, uh, Captain. Roger's fine. I'm not cut out for the news stuff anyway. See, I thought you were doing pretty good. Really? Uh, I think I have another sandwich. You really think we're gonna be able to make it home? Hey, what is this? That's showing any tears. We're doing just fine. I'm I'm sorry, I really hey, don't mean look. to. There's a will, there's a way. Listen, pretty lady, we're not gonna let anything happen to you. You hear me? Thanks, guys. Poor gal's really scared, isn't she? Yeah. I've seen it happen many times before. You can't stay up here too long. All that emptiness makes you crazy after a while. That's probably why they scheduled her for a leave. Yeah. I'm starting to get real depressed myself. Billy, are you okay?
Here, sit down. It's okay now. Just breathe deeply. Now tell me what happened. It's Billy. What about Billy? She, she's dead. She's got slime. Slime? It's all over her. Hold still. I'm going to take a sample. So listen and listen carefully. Cherry's just come back from the engine room and is hysterical. As far as I can tell, something has happened to Lieutenant Lynn and it has something to do with the slimy substance all over Sherry's pants. <laughs> we, we've always been a little suspicious of Billy's lesbian traits. <laughs> what? What did she do? I think she ripped out the other car. How am I going to talk to her? Use emergency PA system. Good idea. Come on now. Talk to me, would you? I didn't mean it. Hey, Adrian, just kidding. Adrian, come on. Would you? We're just having a little fun. I, I didn't mean to do anything. Adrian, come on, man. What's the matter? Look, I'm going to input this chemical breakdown into the main computer for a source analysis. You'll be safe here as long as you keep that inner chamber door locked. Dr. Kimberly, I'm serious. I need you to talk to me right now. After I leave, you lock it. Do you hear me? Okay, I'll be right back. That's an order. Something's wrong. Damn you, Kimberly. Enough is enough. What's going on back there? I think I better go back there. Look what big heroes we have here. Now, can I get access to the main computer without you shooting me? Why won't this thing answer me? It's only programmed for my voice. Well, that's real smart. What if you got killed? Never thought of that. Well, just forget it. Just tell it to give me an answer. It's all right, Bernice. The following elements some are from some watch. unknown life form. Its molecular structure does not require oxygen to live. Well, that's just great. Whatever that thing is, it's polluted half our water supply. Did you try to get in touch with Lieutenant Lynn? She wouldn't answer. Wait a minute. She's in the supply room. That's not Philip. How do you know? Whatever it is doesn't display the same temperature code as a human. Then what the hell is that thing? Did you 
She locked that inner door. Here, try this. Sherry, this is Dr. Kimberly. Listen closely. Go over to the inner hatch door and manually lock it. I'm gonna open the outer hatch and suck that you thing into the bag! Man, he'll suffocate! It worked! <laughs> There's one light on. Quick, close the hatch door before he freezes to death.
that's not Cal's gun. to sleep out under the stars on a hot summer's night and wonder who lived on all those shiny little stars. Did you ever used to wonder about things like that, Campbell? Causing that. I don't know. Disconnect all terminals except the control room. Why do I get the feeling I did exactly what it wanted me to? It can't turn off our air supply. We can't turn it off in there either. So what are we going to do? got to find out more about this thing. I wish we could find the laser cards on that expedition. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> How does this thing work? What, the video laser? Yeah. You push the blue button, why? Maybe they're in here. The laser cards? Yeah. <laughs> no way, they would have checked there first. Then what's that? I'll be damned. How many hours are on that tape? 25. 25. All right. Speed that thing up a little. What? Oh, yeah, good idea. Oh, SC-37, this is SC-45. What was that? Who could be in this sector? SC-37, this is uh, spacecraft 45 out of here. SC-37, come up on emergency frequency 135.85. Yes, SC-45, we read you. We have an emergency situation. Repeat, emergency situation. Unknown life form has killed three of the crew. Need assistance, repeat, need assistance. Uh, shuttlecraft uh, 37, uh, looks like your transmitter's out. We had the same problem after... SC-45, this is SC-37. Do you, you hear us? Something's jamming our outgoing signal. Your, uh, course to Alpha 7 looks the same as ours. Uh, looking at the split screen, uh... Well, uh, no major damage to the hull that I can see, uh, SC-37. Uh, that's, uh, uh... Should be good news anyway. Uh, tell you what, um, why don't we do this? If you're, uh, if everything's okay, why don't you give me a 30 degree right turn? That's a 30 degree right turn, SC 37. SC uh, 37, this is SC 45. If you're okay, I tell you what, give us a 30 degree right turn. Okay, looks good, SC-37. All right. Good to have you with us, SC-37. Tell you what, we'll keep in track with you about every few hours. Give you a call. And uh, have a good trip. Good night.
So when they brought it aboard, it was like a newborn baby that started to grow. And according to the test they ran on it, not only did it grow in size, but also in intelligence. In the two days before the accident, it went from barely being able to move to being able to find its way out of a maze that a nine-month-old chimp couldn't figure out. So there's just no knowing how intelligent that thing is now or when it's going to reach its adult potential. So whatever that thing is back in the engine room, it came from some kind of probe that crashed on Mars. And according to the soil samples, was buried for over 300,000 years. And according to the notes at the end of that tape, that crystal functions like some kind of extremely advanced computer. Evidently, the creature was able to activate it when it was confronted with a difficult problem. And that would explain where it's getting all the knowledge to operate our computer. So the crystal must still be on board. be a computer but it's also some kind of power supply strong enough to move that probe and to fry out all the circuits on this ship why would it want to do that i don't think it did the note said they were going to try a laser on that crystal even on a plenium crystal that's risky but on that thing god knows what could have happened SC-37, this is 45. You have an emergency situation. Repeat, emergency situation. Meteor storm at 12 o'clock. Take immediate and evasive action. Get the hell out of there, boys. Meteor storm at 12 o'clock. Take immediate... I don't think they're going to make it. Bernice, how close is it? We have entered it. Bernice, what happened to the meteor storm? We are in the middle of it. Why aren't we being hit? There is a force field around us. Force field? There aren't any force fields in short distance shuttlecrafts, are there? Not that I know of. Bernice, where's the force field's point of origin? The engine room. Bernice, are we through the meteor storm yet? We just came out of it. Give me a damage report. Minor damage to the outer hull. The power supply terminals to the engine room have been burned out. Thank you. 
Adrian, open the door. Adrian, can you hear me? Son of a bitch. He never touched me. He turned the air back on. Listen, I brought some food back. delicacy. Campbell's tomato. Or how about tomato? Of course, there's always that favorite, Campbell's tomato tomato. Now, you're probably wondering if I'm related to the Campbell's of Campbell's soup. Actually, my great 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 grandfather who founded the company back in the late 1800s. Unfortunately, he lost it all in a gambling game in the Badlands of South Dakota. I remember the night well. There was a cold wind blowing in from the north. And I said to him, You've been a good boy, Uncle. Evidently, our friend has figured out some way to fix those circuits. I check with Bernice, and we're back on course to Alpha 7. We should be there in another 24 hours. Access the computer. who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. Matthew 7, verse 12. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets.
tapped into our computer. Why can't we tap into his? How can we? Bernice, where'd you go? I was answering requests from Terminal 7. How soon until Alpha 7's deceleration? Speed brakes must be activated in 45 minutes. Can the speed brakes be activated from here? Negative. Retrofire must be initiated in engine room. After I leave, you lock this door, and you don't open it until you hear my voice. You understand?
What do you want? I need this ship. We need it too. What about the woman and I? What do you plan to do with us? I'll decide. Decide? What is there to decide? How are you going to kill us like you did your last three victims? You would have done the same. Respect for life. You murdered three people. Knowledge comes from my crystal. Killing was non existent until I encountered your kind. I killed in self defense. But what about the girl Sherry? She didn't intend to harm you. Let us down now. We won't try to harm you again. said you needed this ship. Alpha 7. You may answer, Bernice. At current speed, 5 hours and 22 minutes. In order for us not to fly past Alpha 7, 
I'll need to reprogram the computer and take control of the engine from the command console. The control is yours. Then we're free to go. Yes. You will help us get on the other ship. Yes. How do we know you'll keep your word? be in the control room. Couldn't you program the computer from here? Yes. Well, then why did you let him go do it? Humans must feel needed. It's called ego. Is that why you let him go do it? It's strange, but I feel that I can trust you. You dead. Scar, I'm having trouble altering my course. You're gonna have to come up here and assist me. food for a while. You sure you can eat this stuff? This will be quite sufficient. Will there be enough for you and your crew? Oh yeah, sure, we got plenty. Time to think about him until lately. I didn't understand. We all just didn't understand then. We can only afford to wait for one more day. Patience. Gar. Are you ever afraid? Yes. But the crystal helps me understand. Placed it yet. You released your hand. I did not. Why is he such a jerk? Captain, 
A gravity tunnel has opened in Sector 5, causing an orbital velocity change. SC-37 should now prepare to jettison from Alpha-7 within the next 24 minutes in order to intercept the next Earth orbital pass. Try. 